Well, we set out with a mission to, we became the family of an organ donor. And when we began to look into the whole world of families similarly affected to ourselves, we found that there was very little there to offer them support or comfort or to commemorate their loved ones. So we kind of felt a mission to do something about it. And the creation of the, of the National Organ Donor Commemorative Garden in Salt Hill was the, um, the culmination of that effort. And then the organisation community from the north of Ireland attended the opening of that garden two years ago. And one of them came back with the, an inspired idea to create a similar garden in Belfast. And he took one element of the Galway Garden, which was the central candle, and got permission from Belfast City Council to um, locate in the Botanic Gardens. So it is going to be a tremendous help in creating organ donor awareness in the north of Ireland. And uh, just being a lovely symbol of what organ donation is about. He that helped save the lives of four people. If, if circumstances had been different, he may have even saved the lives of more people. But at the time, his kidneys, his liver, and his heart were donated, his lungs were not. They could easily have been as well if there was a suitable match. So I understand that people that donate can actually save lives for up to nine people. So I mean, it's a tremendous contribution and it's a tremendous legacy for anybody to donate. It's a wonderful, it's just a heroic act, really. We, um, I'm representing uh, Galway City and the Galway Civic Trust. Um, and we're meeting with the Lord Mayor Brian here today as well. So it's a, it's a quite a, a big and prestigious occasion. I think it's absolutely marvelous. Um, there's a, an infectious enthusiasm around it. Um, and everybody that's here, they either received uh, an organ or um, have been instrumental in somebody getting an organ somewhere along the way. And, and we just hope that from here on that it, it will uh, spread out and mushroom around to other different cities and across the world really. We hope this is somewhere which will be a special place that people will visit, uh, those who have benefited from organ donations and also the families of people who have donated an organ uh, quite often through the tragedy of a sudden death but families have been aware of someone if it was someone's wish that their organs would be donated and passed on and thereby they have passed on the gift of life. I was hearing today uh, that whilst many people would obviously receive an organ if they required one uh, only around 36 percent of the population in Northern Ireland is on the organ donor register so uh, I hope that this event today and the placing of this uh, sculpture will raise awareness of the need on us all to uh, consider adding ourselves to the organ donor register. It means any of us can pass on the gift of life to people who very much need organ donors. We're told that in Northern Ireland there are generally at any one time around 200 people uh, requiring organ transplants uh, and that each year uh, tragically around 15 people die uh, because they're waiting to receive uh, those organs. Uh, so I hope this event today will raise that awareness. We're very grateful to the Galway Civic Trust, Galway City Council. Uh, a large number of people have travelled up from Galway and indeed from other parts of Ireland. It's very much a sign of friendship and uh, cooperation.